Hey everybody, this is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off Good Project. We are in Rockport Recreation Area by Alpena, Michigan. I hope you can hear me. It's very windy. We just finished lunch. This is the This is a swimming type area and hanging out and fishing. No, you got a rock. It's a shake Yeah. You got a crayfish? Melanie found a little pool. She got a little crayfish. It's not much eating there. She has a friend. Yeah. Let me get over here. I can find a place out of the wind for my camera. This whole place, we're standing on fossils. The, the whole area is limestone and fossils. There's a limestone quarry here. There's hundreds of acres you can explore. And there are fossils galore. That's a piece of coral. Look here. Different pieces of coral. That's a pretty cool rock. What did you get? Oh, Michelle got a nice piece of coral. Look at that. Pulled that out of the water. A little bit of something attached to it. It's a fossil attached to a fossil. It's a nice piece of coral. Here. It's all fossils. We are in a fossil hunter, hunter's heaven. Or fossil collector's heaven here. It's all fossils. Everything. It's all fossils. And we're about to enter the park itself and go see if we can find some nice specimens. We brought our, our hammer and chisel and a backpack and we're going to go see what we can see. It's just everything. Michelle found a nice looking, well, not nice looking, but a very rough Petoskey. That's a Petoskey. Oh, mom found it. Okay. Here at the entrance to the quarry area, I'm in my own shadow, it looks like, is a big sign. It shows the uh, quarry. Um, as it was up to 1950, they removed mo most of it. It had a half mile long conveyor running out to the water to load ships. Pretty impressive. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, you saw maybe a part of it where we were standing previously. There is the massive, that's incredible, a half mile long. Can you imagine that? What a feat to put something like that together. They say there's some cool things uh, you can dive down and see underneath here. So divers are welcome. Um, there was a lot of rock quarrying going on and limestone was carried off for building roads and pavement. And actually they say some of it is in the foundation of the Mackinac Bridge. And there's a shipwreck can be found down in there. Pretty cool. Here is where all that structure was. It's sad they removed it all, but you can see the foundations of it here, where it used to be. And right now we're going down over here to look for some um, water polished fossils. We usually find some good stuff down in over here. Uh, it's a really good place to go because the water takes away the loose limestone and leaves a solid, uh, the more solid, fossils behind. And that's where we were when I started out. That's where we had our lunch over here. It's a massive area, but also there's a really big place where you can go um, pick up fossils in the quarry itself, which we're going to go see. Look at this. Crystal clear water. You can see the wooden structures underneath the water here. Oh, the sun went away. Let me hold on a second. I'll be right back. Now oh, there, it's getting brighter. You can see the structures under the water. It's so pretty, there's a bluish green color to it. 
There comes the sun again. You can see the stuff down there. It's so crystal clear in the Great Lakes. It's so beautiful here. Look at how blue green that is down there. I can't see my camera very well, so I hope you can see down in that hole. There's a deep spot, really, really, really deep right there. Beautiful colors. Well, it's beautiful here, but we're gonna move on. There's, I think this has been picked over really good. Last year we were here in the spring in cooler weather and we found some really nice rocks, but right now we're not finding much. I think it's been picked over pretty well. Melanie's trying to break open rocks with our hammer we just bought today at uh, Harbor Freight. It's not the be best hammer in the world. Yeah. Got some garage sale finds today. On the way here, I paid $2 for this mega camera bag, which is very nice because I got my phone and my wallet in one pocket. I've got, uh, I can put my camera, I mean, there's a lot of pouches and bags. I needed that really bad because the Sony camera bag was too small. And I paid $3 for this Lake and Trail all leather and canvas um, backpack, which is perfect. I got my water bottle in there. I've got a chisel and a hammer. And we've got pouches for our stones. Let me see if I found anything nice here that's worth showing you. So I found a unique crystal type structure. I'm not sure what it is. It doesn't look like a fossil. It looks like crystals. Um, no idea. I've never seen something like it really, but I'm keeping it. Take it home and look into it later on. I'm pretty sure it's a crystal of some kind. So it's convenient because it says all the bags or the pouches on the outside. I can just drop my rocks in. And we're going to go up into the park itself, into the quarry, and see what we can find up there. Well, that's funny. We're all packed up, ready to go. Melanie says, oh, look. And that's a beautiful, oh, Michelle found a crystal. Look at that one now. It's a beautiful structure there. Look at that. I hope that shows the glittering of it in the sun. Really beautiful honeycomb pattern. I believe that's a coral. But just a beautiful pattern. That's a perfect find, just as we were going to get up and go. And then these crystal structures again. Now Michelle's got a, looks like it could be volcanic rock. Oh, there's a, there's a bit of a glittery up in the top. I don't know if that shows up. Right there is a bit of a crystal that actually does glitter. So we're going to head up into the quarry.